Hi, it's Will from StormingCastle.com, and this is a tutorial on how to make the sh Achilles, the shield of Achilles, and uh, it's like the one in the movie Troy with Brad Pitt. It's a really neat shield. I love the look of it and the feel of it, and I love the way these cutouts are. They have some tactical uses for those, like um, putting a spear through it or putting the sword through it. Kind of neat, and it's not a hard project. Depending on how you want to do it, I'll show you a few different ways to do it. And this is also part of a two-part series of projects. I also made the Achilles um, sword here. And that's the next video coming up is the Achilles sword. And that, that project's done. I just have to do the uh, edit the video. So then that, that project will be coming up really fast. But these, these are all done. So it's a pretty simple thing to show you here. And I haven't painted. I would recommend if you're going to make this project that you paint the back. But I haven't painted the back. I just left it the basic color. But see, it's going to handle this. Or you can, you may even want to paper mache the back to make it stronger. Or you can put a cardboard disc in here. But there you go. That's the shield of Achilles. So let me launch right into the tutorial here. Okay, you start out the whole project with either a barrel cover, plastic one like this, and if you start with a barrel cover like this, cut out all the extra stuff like these things to try to make it as smooth and shield shaped as possible. Or you can start out using what, something I did like a flexible flyer here. This is a snow sled and you can buy these on Amazon.com or other places. Really neat. So, cut out the, uh, the side ports on it. I used a hacksaw. It works really well. And one on each side. Make them even if possible. And there you go. You have your major shape of your shield ready to go looks good now let's make the handle you just use um, some clothesline rope make two long lengths side by side and then wrap those lengths like this so they it locks in the loops on the end see how there's a loop on each end we're gonna need those loops to pass a bolt through once you've got the shape right all wound up just tape it with electrical tape or any kind of tape so it's nice and strong as a handle there we go there's a handle place it on the flexible flyer on your shield in the middle notice the orientation compared to the cutouts mark it and then drill holes large enough to pass the bolts that we'll be making and adding in the next step now, two short bolts and nuts and four washers. Washer against every side. See how I have a washer on, on the outside there? And now, when I put the, the handle on, I'll put another washer on it. This will prevent it from sliding off. And then I put a nut on it and lock it down tight. And do the same thing on the other side. pass a bolt through it put it through the handle put a washer and a nut and lock it down tight looks good and we have our handle to hold the shield with so now we're ready to uh, paper mache this. So get two cups of flour, put it in a bowl, add two cups of water, and about a tablespoon of salt. And the salt will prevent the flour and water from getting moldy over time. And it's dried over time because it's flour, it could get moldy. So the salt prevents that. Now stir it up really good until it has the consistency of like um, spaghetti sauce and you're ready to use it. Cut up some strips of newspaper like this, dip it in the paper mache, wipe up the excess with your fingers like this. See I'm using a scissors action with my fingers, wipe off the excess and place that right on your shield. Just like that. Continue to do that and overlap the pieces like I'll show you right here. The next piece of uh, newspaper goes about halfway over the previous piece, not this way, that way, like that. 
and just continue to do this. The more overlapping you get and the more varied it is, the stronger it will be. Now I'm only going to do one layer of paper mache on this. I recommend you do at least two to make your shield stronger. The more layers you put, the stronger it will be. And if you can, do three. It'll be nice and strong. Like my Spartan shield, I did three layers. It's nice and strong. So come paper mache the whole thing. And you might want to paper mache the inside too. That's optional. Once the paper mache is done, not dry, it's still wet, well, wipe it down with a wet sponge to clean off the excess and smooth it out. Then you can set it in front of a fan to dry or just let it air dry. But it, it, it'll take overnight to dry with just the air, but if you put it with a fan, it'll probably dry in about an hour. Then you can do your next layers of paper mache. So let's paint it. I'm using a, uh, a reddish maroon color here and just paint the whole thing. And it's okay that uh, the newspaper kind of shows through if your paint, it still looks great. There's something about that texture there. So paint the whole thing red and maybe give two coats if you want. Now, I have a little medallion that I got. That's the top of a mason jar. You can use a cardboard circle or something like that and paint it gold. Now draw your lines, there are, there, draw your uh, patterns on, on the shield. There's eight of them. And they look like this, like you see here. You do this with pencil or a marker, and then paint them. I use the black paint. And uh, you'll notice, you'll probably notice that I didn't glue the medallion down yet, which is good. Because I'll be lifting it up to paint under And paint around the edge about, uh, it's like a two or three inch border all the way around the edge too. That's the pattern. And there we go. I'm finishing off all the different uh, legs of the pattern. And then once that dries, we paint the red stripe and arrow down the middle of each of them. And just a red stripe. An arrow at the end. Just like this. There we go. And do that on all eight of them. And you're just about done. I'm going to move that medallion, I think. Now, the final remaining thing, as you can see there on the left, is I have um, styrofoam uh, globes that I picked up at an arts and crafts store. I cut those styrofoam globes in half and painted them gold. And I, you can just hot glue them or glue them to the shield. See, I put the thing like this. These are the styrofoam spheres just right there. Now I'll take these off and I will glue them down to the shield and you're done. Remember, use multiple layers of multiple mache, paper mache if you want it stronger. And here's the final product. Looks great. That's the sword, uh, the, excuse me, the shield of Achilles. And I've completed the sword of Achilles and depending on when you're watching this video, I will, I, <clears throat> you can look for that other video on my website or on my YouTube channel here. There it is. There's the sword and shield of Achilles. Lots more fun stuff on my website at stormthecastle.com.